Imagine a peptide you can do one to two times a year that boosts your exercise capacity, even if you hardly exercise. Well, let's talk about MOTC. According to study results, MOTC treatment helped middle-aged and old mice run significantly faster than untreated mice. What's more, old mice outperformed untreated middle-aged mice. The results suggest physical reprogramming rather than just rejuvenation. In other words, MOTC seems to increase exercise ability on a cellular level. So what is this peptide MOTC? MOTC is a relatively new peptide of 16 amino acids that promotes metabolic balance. It regulates metabolic functions throughout the body. For instance, it turns glucose into usable energy. The DNA in the cell nucleus encodes most peptides, but the mitochondria's DNA encodes MOTC, making it unique among peptides. Research on MOTC suggests it plays a significant role in metabolic regulation, stress resistance, and cellular protection, which are crucial factors in aging and longevity. Here's some of the key benefits associated with MOTC. After touching on these seven benefits, I'll go into more research. Number one, metabolic regulation. Improved glucose metabolism. MOTC enhances insulin sensitivity and promotes efficient glucose utilization, which can help prevent metabolic disorders such as type 2 diabetes. It helps regulate fat metabolism by promoting the conversion of fat into energy, potentially aiding in the prevention of obesity and associated metabolic diseases. Two, enhance mitochondrial function. Mitochondrial biogenesis. MOTC supports the production of new mitochondria, improving cellular production and overall metabolic health. Oxidative stress reduction. By enhancing a mitochondrial function, MOTC reduces oxidative stress and damage, which are key contributors to aging and age-related diseases. Cellular protection. MOTC helps cells respond to stress by activating protective pathways, such as the AMPK pathway, which enhances cellular stress resistance and longevity. Hormesis, low doses of MOTC induce a beneficial adaptive response in cells, promoting resilience and improving the body's ability to cope with stressors. MOTC has been shown to reduce inflammation, which is a significant factor in aging and the development of chronic diseases. By lowering inflammation, MOTC can help maintain tissue health and function over time. Muscle maintenance, MOTC supports muscle function and prevents muscle wasting, which is crucial for maintaining mobility and physical health as one ages. Exercise mimetic, it mimics some of the beneficial effects of exercise, enhancing muscle performance and endurance, which can contribute to overall vitality and longevity. Six, genetic expression and longevity pathways. Activation of longevity genes. MOTC influences the expression of genes associated with longevity and health span, such as those involved in metabolism, stress response, and cellular repair. NAD plus levels. It may help maintain levels of NAD plus, a crucial molecule involved in energy production and cellular repair, which declines with age. And finally, number seven, neuroprotection. Emerging research suggests that MOTC may have protective effects on the brain, potentially reducing the risk of neurogenitive diseases and cognitive decline. MOTC offers a range of potential benefits that contribute to longevity by supporting metabolic health, enhancing mitochondrial function, reducing oxidative stress, and promoting resilience to stress. Let's dive into a bit of research. The peptide helps activate AMPK in mice on a high fat diet. For this reason, it may prevent diet induced obesity. The AMP activated protein kinase acts as a cellular energy sensor. Cells activate AMPK when they are running low on energy. It's also activated through the body after exercise or during calorie restriction. Studies show that compounds that activate AMPK may promote health. For instance, it may reverse diabetes, enhance heart health, treat mitochondrial diseases, and even increase lifespan. The mice also used oxygen and glucose more efficiently and generated more heat. As a result, they burn more energy. The study suggests that MOTC may prevent diet-induced obesity because it increases energy use and heat production and improves insulin sensitivity and glucose use. While the peptide didn't seem to affect body weight with regular diets, it can support weight loss in some cases. Anecdotal reports suggest that those with high body fat 
and typically unfit get the biggest response from it. I believe it's because their MOTC levels would be lower than that of someone who is more athletic, making the difference more noticeable. Studies have shown that the interaction between MOTC and NRF2 can improve the expression of the mitochondrial protective genes. In fact, MOTC levels in skeletal muscle and blood circulation in both humans and mice decrease with age. Studies have shown that blood MOTC levels in young people are 11 and 21% higher than those in middle and old age people respectively. In addition, different from animal experiments, the levels of MOTC in skeletal muscle of the elderly were the highest, indicating that the level of MOTC in plasma and muscle decreased gradually with age. This phenomenon may be attributed to differential regulation of tissue specificity. Furthermore, the correlation between pathological results of different ages and the level of MOTC suggests that Higher MOTC levels is beneficial to delaying aging. So what is the dose? I've done three moderate cycles of 10 milligrams once a week for five weeks. Some go higher doing 10 milligrams every other day for the first two weeks and then go down to 10 milligrams once a week. Being quite an expensive peptide, seeing how you respond to a moderate dose is a safer bet. I myself, I do it with a 30 gauge, five millimeter insulin syringe. With the weight loss drug Azempec becoming popular, doing subcutaneous injections has become more normalized. But still, I've spoken to many people who don't realize how big the difference is between a blood test needle and an insulin one. 30 gauge being so small, you don't generally feel it. Remember, you're just going below the skin. Currently, it is unknown under what conditions, if any, it is safe to use MOTSI because there are no completed clinical trials. However, among people who claim to purchase MOTC online, there have been some reported side effects, including increased heart rate or heart palpitations, injection site irritation, insomnia, and fever. There's also no data available on what happens with long-term use of MOTC, at least in humans. But mice treated with MOTC at 15 milligrams per kilo, three times a week, starting in old age, 23 and a half months, showed a trend towards increased lifespan. They had a 6.4 increase in median lifespan and a 7% increase in maximum lifespan. And remember, they started late in life. So if they started, say, in early middle age, I think the numbers would be even uh, better. So myself, I didn't really notice any side effects, you know, with regards to insomnia. I tend to do it in the morning. While research is still ongoing, the findings so far suggest that MOTSI could be a valuable tool in promoting a longer and healthier life. I'll continue doing cycles of MOTC with it supporting my athletic output. If you're interested in getting MOTC, I get mine from Swiss Chems. There's a discount code in the pinned comment down below. Even though I'm really happy with the peptides I've had of them, I'm still going to do a spot check and get it purity tested. So I'll do that on another one I use regularly, which is Epitalon, and I'll keep you posted on that.